Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Shotgun Red. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Sheila. And we're back to do another recipe today. And we're doing a crock pot recipe today. And we're making slow cooker Dr. Pepper ribs. So come, come on, on in. in. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is tear the membrane off the back of these baby back ribs. Got my gloves on and I'm just using a paper towel. That is a tray full, isn't it? It is, and I've got two racks here and I've just cut them into quarters. So that makes it easy on me. And I've got some just regular yellow mustard here. And I like to use mustard because it has the vinegar in it which helps break down the meat. And I use this when I smoke ribs too, so this is a really good way to help all of your seasonings and everything, rib rub, stay on the ribs also. So it's kind of a two for one type of thing. You're painting that really good, Jennifer. Thanks, I try hard. <laughs> I don't drink cola drinks anymore, but back in the day when I did, it was a Dr. Pepper. And when I saw this recipe, I just thought maybe this right here would be really good and it would make it tender and it really looks good. So I can't wait to see what this is going to turn out like. You did good with this one. It sounded good when you told me about it. Then one and a half to two cups of brown sugar. Yes, we've got some brown sugar and I love to use brown sugar. And I'm going to do the back side here. That looks good. Then, once we get that in there, I'm going to get the other side. Flip them over. Some mustard. Have you ever had this recipe? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? Nope. <laughs> but I've heard a lot of good things about it, and yes. I'm excited to try it. So. I'm going to try it with you all. Scraping the bowl now. I know. I just I just had enough. <laughs> so once we get this all coated, then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna get our brown sugar and we're going to rub that into the ribs on the other side, the meaty side. Then we're gonna make our rib rub seasoning. And we're gonna start with two teaspoons of kosher salt and two teaspoons of black ground pepper. We're gonna put that in the bowl. Then, two teaspoons of smoked paprika. Gotta have some paprika. It also adds some color. And one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, and a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Gotta have a little cayenne pepper in there for those of you that like a little bite. Honestly, there's a lot of seasoning here, but you know, some of this will cook off. And uh, so it seems like a lot, but it's really not when you're making ribs like this. So we're just going to rub this in to the meat, spread it evenly, and we'll rub it in on both sides. And even get some on the back side. When I saw this and it said Dr. Pepper, I thought this has got to be very good. Oh yeah. So once we get all of those rubbed in there, we're going to prepare our crock pot and we're gonna pre-grease it. Now you can use a liner if you prefer and we're gonna place these ribs into the crock pot and they should all fit. It's a pretty good sized crock pot. I think this is a five quart. I have used the heck out of this crock pot. Tell you what. Now you're gonna doctor it up with two cups of Dr. Pepper. That's right, the secret ingredient. There's one. And here is two. And then I've got some butter here, about three tablespoons of butter. And I've just sliced these into thin little slices. So I'm just going to place them around the meat because you just got to have butter. Everything's better with butter. And then we're going to cover it and you can either put this on low for about six to seven hours or high for four hours and that's what we're going to do. Yeah, we prefer high. Mm. Look at 
Look at that. Don't that look good? Yes. Looks so good. Fall off the bone, it looks like. So now I'm going to put them on a foil lined baking tray and I'm going to baste them with some of Steve's secret barbecue sauce. It's so good. Steve's recipe. Mm. He used that on everything. He did, and it's so good. I mean, I'll put that right below this video too. Ribs, chicken, didn't yes. matter. He loved it. So if you're looking for that link, it'll be right below this video. The broiler is preheated. And we're just going to place these in to the broiler now for about three to four minutes. This isn't going to take very long. And then it'll be done. I'm ready to go. Wow, look at that. Doesn't that smell good? Mm, looks so good. Oh my gosh. I am so Check hungry. Check this out. Don't this look great? It does. Tender. I tell you what. Tender, tender. I know what's for dinner mm. tonight. It's good. Yes. Hello, dinner time. And Steve would say, if this is not the best, slow cooker Dr. Pepper ribs. If, if it ain't, it ought to be. be. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Well, that's she, she, and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, then you're subscribed. Next to it will be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.